In this video series, you will learn how to use Insight's keyframe animation tool to create your own movie sequences to present your results more easily. The fundamentals are that you specify where the camera is located in each of the waypoints in a keyframe. For example, you can create a simple keyframe by pressing Create. This would create your first keyframe. You can move around the model to wherever you prefer. You would then press Create again. This operation would create two points. Opening up the Speed and Actions drop-down, you can see this defined as Keyframe 1, which has two waypoints, Waypoint 0 and Waypoint 1. The subframes to the next keyframe menu represents the interpolation points, counter positions, how many frames an animation would need to get from one to the other. In this case, increase the number to 58. The reason for this is that these are subframes. Say you want 60 frames for the first animation, you've already defined two of them. You define the first point and also the second point. This is the number of subframes between them. Therefore, this is the number of frames in between. If you put 58 here, there would be 60 frames in the animation due to the fact that we specified one at the beginning and one at the end and 58 for the middle. If you move around, create another keyframe and want to have 60 more frames, then for keyframe number 2, which goes from waypoint 1 to waypoint 2, you would add 59 subframes to the next keyframe. Remember, you already defined waypoint 2 in part of the first keyframe, so you would actually have 59 here. These are 59 subframes to the next frame. In this case, since you have two keyframes, 58 subframes in the first keyframe and 59 subframes in the second keyframe, this would be a total of 120 frames through this keyframe animation. Close this dialog and open a dialog to play the actual keyframe. Hit play. This will play through 120 frames. At this point, you can walk back to any of the particular frames or subframes specified. In general, keyframes are used for camera movement and to take you around the model. To write out the keyframe animation as you currently see it in Insight, you can select File, Export, Animations, select Play and Reset under Keyframes, and specify 120 for the number of frames to record. To make another keyframe, you can go to your keyframe editor and create another one. The subframe number would be 59 for the third keyframe, which would give you a total of 180 keyframes. These are the basics of creating keyframe animations within Insight. Going back to your keyframe control window, the dialog essentially goes from here to here, and that would be 180 keyframes. To delete frames, you can select the delete button. It deletes back to, but not including the keyframe. In this specific case, you want to delete all keyframes. Therefore, you would enter zero. You are now back to the very beginning of your keyframe animation setup. Other types of keyframes capabilities are quick predefined animations. These are presets to, for example, flying around your model in a specific direction. You would select the create predefined animation here. This would create a 200 frame animation that rotates around the entire model in the right direction. Therefore, if you were to go over and play an animation, it would rotate around the model and take you back to where you started. In detail, it would be 198 subframes and only two keyframes. Now delete all keyframes. Rather than fly around, you can rotate objects. Rotate the object positively around the X, Y, and Z. Do one rotation around the Z and zero around the X and Y. Hit Create. When you play this keyframe, it will play and rotate around the Z. These are not axes, but screens. They are referred to as screen X, Y, and Z. Screen Z comes out of the page. Screen X is horizontal and screen Y is vertical. They're screen axes and not model axes. Therefore, it is important to be aware that these rotate objects the way they do. 
Let's delete the animation and revert back to zero. The other option is to explode the model. This allows you to explode the pieces. You can explode in a radial or XYZ direction. Select XYZ, then press on Create Predefined Animation. This is 200 frames showing the model coming apart in random locations or vectors. This concludes part one on how to use Ensite's keyframe animation tool to create your own movie sequences to present your results more easily.